hello in this hello class in this video I'm gonna explain um, how we breathe okay so it there's a lot of um, different concepts in here but it's um it's not it's not super complicated you want to think about pressure okay and different things that dries breathing so I have written up some um, terminology and also some uh, wording here but in this video I'm gonna explain how we breathe okay so first thing you have to understand is let's look at slide number two okay so in slide number two what you will see is that I've highlighted three different kinds of pressure okay so let's explain what these three pressures are one is the atmospheric pressure which is the pressure on the outside environment okay and this depends on where you live at sea level is about 760 um, millimeters of mercury at sea level so that's the atmospheric pressure but it depends again um, what day to day what the conditions but this pressure does not change moment to moment so in a typical day it'll stay relatively the same the next pressure is this intrapleural pressure okay so the intrapleural pressure is if you look at the anatomy the thoracic wall the chest wall and the lungs and then there's this little tiny space in between the lung and the, and the chest wall okay so i highlighted it here in purple so that space creates a pressure it's pressurized it has fluids and it's pressurized to always to be four millimeters of mercury below the atmospheric pressure and of course the next pressure the intrapulmonary pressure so this pressure is always lower okay and we'll explain why that is lower in just a minute the third pressure is the intra so within pulmonary the lungs pressure so that is highlighted in red here and that's the lung pressure so i continuously use this three color scheme where you see green purple and red the only pressure here that you will be changing as you breathe is the intrapulmonary pressure okay so that's what's going to drive the airflow is to change the intrapulmonary pressure and i also explain how we change that in just a moment but first off, we just needed to understand the th three different pressures that drives breathing, okay? So let's look at the relationship of these um, three pressures again. So I have here talking about how the lungs are inflated. So that's the relationship between the intrapleural pressure and the intrapulmonary pressure. So again, that's the pressure around the lung and the pressure within the lung, okay? So in purple, that is the pressure around the outside of the lung and in red, the pressure within the lung. So the normal relationship that has to be maintained is that the intrapulmonary pressure has to be greater than the intrapleural pressure, okay? So let's take a look at example here. So the intrapulmonary pressure here is at 760 and the intrapleural pressure is at 756. So the intrapleural pressure here is four millimeters of mercury lower than the intrapulmonary. That's important because that allows the lung to push out. So if I'm the lung I, and surrounding me is less pressure, I'm able to expand out, come back in, expand out, come back in, okay? So that's really important for the inflation and the uh, deflation of the lungs. If in cases of pathology where the intrapleural pressure is actually greater or higher than the intrapulmonary, but that pressure is going to push against the lungs so if i'm the lung and the, there's a lot of pressure a lot stronger force than me there's no way i can expand so the lung shrivels up and it crushes the lung and the lung collapse okay so this will be a pathology version and this will be the normal um, pressure in the next slide you have a chance to practice looking at these three pressure and the relationship between those three pressures and that is the fundamental basis of how we breathe so first understand these three pressures and next video we'll talk about how you change the intrapulmonary pressure.